Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about three different locations in Delta State where there is currently a clash between Supreme Air Confraternity and Supreme Vikings Confraternity. And within the space of two days, people is said to have been brought down in these three different locations. And the first location we are going to talk about in this video is Agbo. Although no one has been brought down in Agbo, but it is said that someone has been severely injured. After we talk about Agbo, then we are going to talk about Abraka, where two people were said to have been brought down. After Abraka, then we will talk about Udu Road, and I will advise you to pay attention about the update of Udu Road because a lot of information has gone out and some people might just be in danger. So before I get into it, I quickly want to remind you guys to like this video, leave a comment in the comment section to discourage confraternity killings, let's just type say no to court killing or say no to courtism and please let us also say say no to drugs, say no to colors because we have seen a young man that went to hog transformer after he was on colors so this is getting really serious, say no to colors, say no to court killing. So with that out of the way, Let's dive into the video. So a confraternity clash started again between Eye and Vikings two days ago in Agbo. And what really transpired is not known, but it is said that some Eye members had surrounded a member of Vikings and they beat him up. And after that happened, the Vikings members got angry and before you knew what was happening, they retaliated as they went into the streets looking for members of Eye and they were able to find an Eye member and they beat the young man up and the young man was severely injured. The video of the Eye member that was injured is very graphic and I am going to post it on my telegram later in the day. So if you are not on my telegram, I will leave the link in the comment section so you can click the link. It will take you directly to the telegram. Wait for me to give you an access so that you will be able to see the things that are going on in Nigeria. I will also post it on my whatsapp status later in the day but just a warning the video is graphics and let's move on to what happened in abraka so a few weeks ago it was the carnival of abraka and that carnival is not for the week however the very day that the carnival started a young man by the name of emeka was brought down and this emeka is said to be a very high profile Vikings member and I posted a video after the young man was brought down. So recently, about two days ago, I think it was Friday or Saturday, it was the barrier of Emeka right there in Abraka. So after the barrier had happened, some Vikings members were not happy about the situation of them burying Emeka. So it is said that this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen and another person who is with him in this picture, I can put that picture right now because of YouTube policies. It is said that both of them took a white jeep and they started rolling in the city of Abraka looking for members of AA just to retaliate because it was the barrier of Emeka. So while they were rolling, the police saw their vehicle and the police were suspecting. So the police intercepted them and the other young man who is not in this picture right now was with toes. The young man was with AK-47 and when he saw that the police had intercepted them, the young man fired at the police van. Boom, boom, boom. And it is said that the police had to retaliate and they fired back and they brought the young man down. Now this picture that you are currently seeing on your screen has been cropped. The full picture will be posted on my telegram too because the other young man is also in this picture lying down on the ground. He was brought down by the police and they also put the AK-47 on his body. Now this particular young man that you are seeing on your screen is said to have been brought down by the police officers too. So after these two young men were brought down, Aya hit squad got angry, went into the streets of Abraka looking for members of Vikings that will be seen walking anyhow up and down. I posted a quick update, a quick info that there are hit squad currently walking in the streets of Abraka for people to be safe. So the city of Abraka is very tense right now and if you are a member of either of the groups, I would advise you to hide your head. 
So now let's go to the last eight that we are going to talk about in this video. Now let's talk about the confraternity war between these two groups in Udu Road. Now just for a reminder, this confraternity war started when Commissioner was brought down, then Aya retaliated and brought down John. And when the father of John heard that John has been brought down, the man had a heart attack and he died just because he heard that his son was brought down. Now after this, about four days ago, a young man who is said to be an innocent young man by the name of Papa was brought down. Now the person that started the war is this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen on top of a bike. The young man is by the name of Old School. He is a member of Vikings. He was the one that brought down Commissioner and Commissioner is said to be his cousin according to how it was explained. Now the entire truth came out that it is not only old school that brought down Commissioner. There were three in numbers and I don't want to make mention of the names of the other two people in this video. However, it is old school, another young man who is a Vikings member. It is said that the Vikings member will head Commissioner when old school stabbed him. So after everywhere bust, everyone started hiding their head. This particular young man by the name of old school he said to have decided to travel and he took Okada. So while he was on top of the bike, so people quickly noticed that it is old school that is on top of Okada that the young man is trying to escape. Aya members chased him and they caught him. So they chased old school, caught old school. However, the police quickly swooped in to rescue old school. So old school has been in the custody of the police for a few days now since he was caught. And information reaching me that old school has confessed the names of all the confraternity members that he know right there in Udu Road. I really don't know how to pronounce the name of the town. So I am going to put the name of the town here. So this young man confessed all the confraternity members that he know right there in Udu Road. And the members of AA are still very angry saying that there were three people that brought down Commissioner. And they are also angry for the bringing down of Papa, the young man that is said to be an innocent young man that is always hanging out with members of Eye. And on the other hand, the Vikings members are angry for the bringing down of John. So the confraternity war is still very active. And if you live in Udu Road, in this particular community, you still have to be careful because they are saying that they are not ready to go for any peace talk. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian View.